Hey fellow gardeners, Dawn here from Seasonal Designs. It is the beginning of October. We just finished up the month of September, which weather-wise was really beautiful. We just had a week in the 80s and overnight lows in the 60s, and then all of a sudden, in true Wisconsin weather fashion, last night we had an overnight low of 47. Now what that means to me is that I need to start looking at what containers I have outside and who or what is going to make the cut to grow in the greenhouse. I thought you guys might be interested in taking a look at who made the cut. Right, so we are just going to kind of take a look around everything that I have in here. It is it's chilly outside, but it is beautiful in here. As soon as the sun hit this thing this morning, it really warmed up. But last night, both the fireplace and the supplemental heater both came on because I'm really trying to keep this at 52 degrees overnight so that everything in here stays happy. So we're going to start by looking at what is in this corner because this is a new addition to my greenhouse. This tall plant you see behind me is the bird of paradise and it is something that was not growing in my garden. I actually got this from Erin over at the Impatient Gardener and I know a lot of you follow her. She was not going to overwinter this again so she asked me if I wanted it and of course I said yes because I thought it would make such a great addition to the greenhouse. I did put a tape measure on this. The tip of the tallest plant, or the leaf, is nine feet tall. So it is just a beautiful plant, and this for sure is making the cut in the greenhouse. Now let's take a close-up look at what else I have in this corner. All right, well, there she is. Doesn't she look perfect in here? I mean, like, I, I just love the look of this tall plant in here, and I hope she stays happy in here. And at Erin's house, she was in full sun. She's going to get a lot of sun here, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. And over here in this corner, the other things that I did bring in, one was this basket that I had on a table outside. I love this basket. It is planted up with just some of the geraniums. I started actually from seed this year. So there's three little geraniums in there. And then I added some of the Diamond Frost Euphorbia and it still looks so good. And I think the colors of these two containers here worked really well with the one that I put the um, large plant in there the bird of paradise. And then this container here, love this line of Michael Carr containers. It looks like a basket and I love the look of baskets, but outside here in Wisconsin, a basket isn't gonna hold up. So having something that looks like a basket, but isn't and holds up is just really a wonderful thing in my book. And he has a whole line of these. They come in a little bit different colors, natural looking colors. They're not super thick, so they're not super duper heavy, but they are so nice. I really can't say enough about those and I love them. What do I have growing in there? I have more of my hookahs. These were in the ground, again, had to move them, didn't know where to put them, popped them in this container. This is, I think, grape soda and, oh, I can't remember this one. I'll pop the name up, but I mean, they look so nice. So that is this corner and I just, I love it. Now in the center here, this is the tall, this is the peak and on this wall here, I have a couple of shelves that my husband put up for me, and I have just been kind of collecting glass to put up there. And I feel like I'm not done. I would love to find more of this kind of pinky purple color that's in this vase, but dang, it's hard to find. So if you guys, if you see any, if you guys know of any vases that color, you see anything, goodness gracious, tell me about it, email me. Seasonal Designs by Dawn, 112 at yahoo.com. If you find anything, I'd love to hear from you guys. 
And then of course the seating area with our table and that's the supplemental heater. And at night we just pull that out um, and that will kick in if it's needed. Now, if it's you know warm, it won't kick in at all, but last night we needed it. So we, we have it sitting there. And then over in this corner, I put my hibiscus and I just threw the pot into the basket that I had here. And in all actuality, I could probably lower it just a little bit, but this was just, I mean, it has a ton of buds on it. And so I really want this to keep doing well. You can see all of the buds that I have coming. So I'm gonna grow him in here for a while. He has been in 100% full sun on the back patio all summer. He will love it in here. This is one of two coffee cup plants. And the other one I put in the house last night because as you will see in a minute, I am really filling up quickly here. Love the coffee cups plant. This was the one that I threw in the mulch pile. I forgot it was in a big mix pot and I just threw it out and all of a sudden this summer I was like, oh my God, my coffee cups plant. So I pulled it out of the mulch pile probably in like June, no, July, put him in a pot, he's doing so well. This is a geranium that, you guys, I have been overwintering my geraniums, starting them here in the greenhouse and then actually just letting them bloom like all winter long in my house and now I'm, they're starting to get bigger and I'm running out of room, but I just love the color on this. I'm hoping you can see it. And it's full of buds. So I brought him in, he'd be fine in 47, but I was cleaning things up. I cleaned him up, I brought him in. Oh my goodness, look what we have here. A bee came in and he probably came in on one of my flowers. Actually, I think I know the flower he was on. He was on that hookah I brought in and he was cold. And now I'm gonna let him pollinate, but then I am going to, ideally, I, I should probably put him outside, but. All right, well, let's talk about the center of the table here and what I have in here. These are some of my favorite containers here from Wakefield. I have been, this is one I unpackaged, I think on a video, I love this one. And you can see, I still have it filled with some summer things. That's what the bee is going to town on. But I have just a little collection here. This succulent is blooming. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't that gorgeous? I have an olive tree here. And then I have a succulent on the other side of this collection, right? over here as well, who was only one, but this summer he's got two babies. Oh my gosh, three babies. Wow, that's awesome. So what else have I moved in? Well, I've moved in a crown of thorns, which is actually gonna start to bloom, and just some additional succulents. I have a tomato plant I started from seed. It's looking a little rough, like I wasn't here to water it last week. And then I did move in one of these hookahs for some pretty fall color in the greenhouse. I love it. That is the fireplace, not on right now. And then here on my potting bench, I have some Agapanthus. So I started these late this year and I'm going to try to overwinter them first in here and then probably in my basement. We'll see what happens. I have another caramel hookara here. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? I just, I love the fall color of those. And I also love that it has a touch of that pinky purple. I think it works well in here. I don't know if you noticed, but like shades of my rug, well, let's see here. Shades of my rug are kind of a very faded kind of pinky purple. And some of the tile on my wall have sh shades of that kind of faded pinky purple as well. So I feel like those colors work well in here. And then I have a different type of hookah in here. I have a little pot of herbs. I started this from seed, um, so I can just have something for winter. Another geranium, some cabbage that really quite disappointing. 
I started these a while ago and they're just like, ah, well, whatever. We'll see, we'll see what happens. And this is the potting bench that I got from Alatex. And I special ordered this to the size that I wanted. I love this potting bench so much. And it has this LECA on top, which retains a little bit of moisture. When it gets wet, um, water just kind of runs down into that, provides a little bit of moisture. And then it has great area below where I can store things. And then the other thing I did last year for spring was I actually added grow lights under here. So I will plug those in and turn those on in spring. And then this entire bottom here, I'll clean this out and I will be able to grow things under this in spring. I also have some baskets for storage underneath there, which I love. And then in this corner, I started these from seed. This was a little packet of marigold seed I got from Ball, and I thought, it says tall marigold. Well, you're not kidding. I mean, this is really tall. They are gonna bloom, so I'm gonna see what they look like. We'll see what comes of it. I also have a tomato, and then my gardenia, which you guys is so covered with buds. Little buds, big buds. Oh, let's see, can you see that? So there's a bud. I mean, it really has a lot if you start looking really close. There's another one. I'll try not to move so fast. There's more here. I mean, really, it's covered. And this thing struggled this past winter and it got cut way back and it really has flushed out nicely and now it's gonna bloom. So I'm just super thrilled with it. And then one more geranium in here. And a lot of you have asked about water. I do have water right here. Got a bunch of towels in there right now in my little copper bucket. But I have a long hose and it just makes watering in here super easy. On this side, I do have some more glass shelves with a bug crawling on it. Um, and I've collected some glass over here, mostly in the greens. And just, you know, I see something and I like it and I just, I go, ooh, will that look good with, with my glass collection or not? Well, I have a last minute addition here. I pulled this out of a pot. This Rex Begonia looked so beautiful this year. And I had Oh, angel wing begonias kind of behind it. And, oh my gosh, I mean, look at the color. The Decantra Falls. So I had, it to, I had to add this. And then the other thing I should probably talk about because some people ask is the sparkle here in my greenhouse. And I have these great glass and bead, I don't know, dingle dangles, I'll call them. <laughs> and I have them in every window of the greenhouse. I put them up in spring and they are up all summer and I keep them up as the birds head south. And it's just a pretty way of keeping the birds from hitting my windows. And if they see a sparkle, um, they tend not to hit the windows, but I don't know if you can see them, but I have it really in just about um, every single window in the greenhouse. Now, you guys remember that we had shade cloth in here all summer long. That we just took down yesterday. So my husband took that down yesterday in preparation for the cooler weather. For a while, we had it slid um, open, except for right here in the center, we kept that shaded. I know I said I was gonna do a video on this and I haven't, but my husband really did a great job of coming up with a system for shade cloth. 
And I don't know if you can see this, let me, but there is a wire that runs along with my lights and he had some metal brackets made. So right, if I can, right up here, I'm hoping you can see that. So right there is a metal bracket and it is in put on into the structure of the greenhouse. And then there is a wire and it's a, the type of wire that you would use as um, you see on those more modern porches. So it's a very heavy duty gauge wire. And that is run all the way across on both the bottom as well as right up here, you can see it. And then the same on the other side. And then our shade curtains simply hook onto those. You can slide them open and closed. But like I said, for this time of year and going into winter, we don't need them. And I really love the look, especially for fall dinner parties of just having all open glass up above um, with the chandelier. It just is really pretty. And sometimes at the last minute, things change and you decide to have a few friends over for dinner <laughs> and you need to swap out the table and make it bigger and get ready for a little dinner party. Oh, there's a bee. Let me grab him. Hang on, buddy. I'm coming to get you. Hold, please. Oh. All right, come here. Where are you? Let's get you out of here. Shoot, I should have got him out while he was on that plant. I can't grab him with my bare hands because I don't want to get stung, but I am going to find him today, and we are going to save the bee and get him outside, so don't worry. Well, that is going to be it for who made it into the greenhouse. There's that bee. Hang on, you guys. Come here. Come here, come here. No, no, no. Come over here. All right, I got it. Open that door. Hold the door. Oh, shit, 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 shit. God bless it. Come here, bee. Hang on. Hey. Hang on to it. Oh, jeez. Put them on a plant. There you go, buddy. Bye-bye. Well, that is going to be it, you guys, for who made it into the greenhouse this year. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.